Dear colleagues, today we are going to present you an article on the following topic. Redistribution of the compressed data between modified deflate blocks in the looseless image compression process. There are following facts confirming the relevance of the research topic. Data compression allows to increase the speed of information exchange over the network and decrease the use of this space proportionally. Data compression is possible mainly by reducing the redundancies. The more type of redundancies the algorithm detects and reduces, the more efficient the compression is. The level of looseless image compression depends only on the differences of the colors of their pixels and the compression algorithm itself. It's not adjustable by software and averages only 30-70%. To speed up the output of large images in compression formats with loses, graphic formats that use progressive hierarchical pixel processing have already been developed. This approach allows you to stop decoding after the compression of the layer with the next number of pixels, not less than the output area on each of the axes, without waiting for the reproduction of all pixels of the image. At the, time, at the same time, this approach is not yet standard, standardized for looseless image compression. Therefore, the problem of looseless image compression by reducing redundancy remains, remains relevant now and will be relevant in the future. There are four main stages of looseless image encoding. The first stage is compression by context-dependent algorithm, for example, the popular context-dependent algorithm LZ77. The transition to an alternative color model. The next one is usage of predictors. And the last one is comp compression by a context-independent algorithm. The basic principle of context-independent coding is elements with a higher probability should be encoded with sequences of bits of shorter lengths than the code of lengths of elements with a lower pr probability. According to the fundamental position of, position of information theory, to minimize the length of the sequence code, the element brightness with a probability of p should be encoded with logarithm p bits. Therefore, the average code length of the block element after the application of any context-independent algorithm, according to Shen's formula, cannot be less than at the entropy of the source. The entropy of the source decreases with the increasing non-uniformity of the distribution of probabilities between the elements. In practice today, two alternative context-independent methods are most used, Hoffman coding and arithmetic coding. To speed up the development of the graphic formats, data compression formats are created, improved, and used, which combine proven context-independent and context-independent algorithms. One of the successful examples of such a combination is a deflate dictionary compression format, which for processing of incoming flow uses context-dependent LZ77 algorithm. The results of its, of its work is compressed by Hoffman's dynamic codes. We use this compressed data format to develop a looseless progressive hierarchical image compression format, HBFLS. The purpose of this article is to de describe the, and justify the algorithm for the redistribution of the compressed data between modified deflate blocks to improve the compression performance of this format. Algorithm to, according to the LZ77 algorithm, matching sequences of maximum lengths are searched in the dictionary from the end from right to left because the same fragments of the data are often found nearby. As a result, Smaller offset in the output output stream occur more often than larger ones, and the four are encoded in the deflate dictionary compression format with fewer bits. The greater the probabilities of the elements differ among themselves, and the greater the unevenness of the distribution is, the lower the entropy is. There are, four, there are two ways uh, of redistributing of compressed data between deflate blocks to reduce the overall size uh, of output data. Combine two adjacent blocks of compressed data, if the increase in the length of the entropy code from their combination doesn't exceed the saving from storing the header of the combined block instead of the two headers of the adjacent blocks, and split blocks of compressed data into homogeneous blocks if the decrease in the length of the entropy code from such a split exceeds the increase in the size of their headers. The test results of applying redistribution of compressed, compressed data between modified deflate blocks in the process of progressive hierarchical looseless image compression will be shown based on AST image set. 
On this slide, you can see the main characteristics of those images. Here, there are results of applying the suggested redistribution. From the data in the tables, we can see that the application of redistribution of compressed data between modified deflate blocks made it possible to reduce the total size of compressed images of the AST set by 3 kilobytes. Although on average, it slowed down the encoding by six, more than 6%. Moreover, a reduction in the size of compressed images is observed both of for photorealistic images, like number four, and for synthesized images, like number one and seven. Other comp compressed images are harder so by smaller. Such modest results are explained by the fact that firstly, the maximum gain of, from the combination of, of ingest and modified deflated blocks is equal to the block header up to 380 bytes. And secondly, after using different color models and predictors, these images have a high uneven distribution of element frequencies and partitioning doesn't significantly, significantly increase their homogeneous, homogeneity. And thirdly, the da data for different layers are and passes of for progressive hierarchical compression are stored in different compressed blocks by default. On the other hand, the redistribution of compressed data between deflate blocks made it possible to speed up decoding by an average of more than 2% due to the discrete tone images, which indicates the feasibility of its use. During the research, we came to the following conclusions. And using compressed data formats, which provide for their division into blocks, it's worth analyzing the expediency of, of combining gestant blocks and dividing blocks into homogeneous fragments to reduce compression ratio before writing these blocks into a file. The combination of deflate blocks reduces the size of compressed data by a maximum of the size of the header of such block, and splitting, and splitting increases the uneven distribution of the relative frequencies of their relevance. So the sections should be implemented in image compression programs. The combination of different blocks of compressed data make it possible to speed up decoding by reducing the number of generation intervals or codes of individual elements for each such block. In the future, we plan to improve the mechanism of this lazy layout of LZ77 algorithm by memorizing and using smaller offsets to shorter identical sequences that can be applied in the process of its formation. And to investigate the effectiveness of using the previous layout, this algorithm to predict the lens of, literal, of literals, lens of substitution and of sets. Thank you for your attention.